Here at the Cryptic Files, we don't aim to prove or disprove anything. Simply so show the evidence for you to decide. So with that said, let's get started. File 1. Patrick and Sean of the Haunted Side investigate the Hughes and Porter building in Reno, Nevada, the top floor of which has been vacant for nearly 20 years. As the sun sets, the team prepare to carry out their investigation. It's worth noting that the building itself is completely locked down during the investigation, so there's no way anyone else can get into it. It's important to remember that. You'll see why later. Before investigating the top floor, the guys decide to first investigate the basement, where some activity has been noted in the past. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like some stepping, like some boom. While the spirit box seems to pick up a few sounds of voices, it's not entirely clear because of the general background noise caused by the machinery down there, such as the ice box. So the guys leave a camera recording. After a while, something strange happens. Watch. There is no obvious reason for the camera to react this way. And just before it moves, Something goes past the camera at great speed. And it is so fast that on film it appears to be nothing more than a flash. Yet clearly the camera position has slightly changed before it spins and falls. As nothing else shows up on camera, whatever it is, is a mystery. The guys now decide to head further into the building and up to the top floor. Let's head up to the very top floor. Just work our way down. And just kind of walk around and kind of feel some stuff out. So okay. We can see. Why would you do that? You hear a bump? I heard like whispering. Yeah, While the guys continue bump, to explore one of the upstairs walls, rooms in the building, like little, they hear something long. from the corridor which Where one thinks you? is a bump, the other one thinks hears another sound. Unfortunately, no sound is actually captured by the camera. However, during this point, there appears to be another voice that both the guys missed. Have a closer listen. I heard like whispering. Yeah, I just heard a bump like over here. Could have just been the walls, but I thought I heard like a little, like a little knock. It actually sounds like, help me. Where are you? The guys now head up to the very top of the building into a large open area. Who's in this room with us? Who's in here with us? What did I just say? What? What did I just say? Hell. I said hell? Yeah. Look, it's and a while sign. checking the equipment it's in the center of the sign. room, one of the corner hell. cameras captures something Black remarkable. Heat. Hang on, keep it there for a second. Dude, I just saw somebody over there. Yeah. Heat. I just saw somebody, like, it looked like they just walked through right yeah. there. That was Haunted Science analysis, but let's have a closer look. You can see from this inverted version of the footage, it's definitely outside in the corridor and not made by Patrick and Sean in the room. As I said at the beginning, the building is locked down, nobody else has access to it. So what have they captured on camera? Is there somebody sneaking around the building unknown to them? Or is it actually haunted? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You can also find a link to the full investigation by the haunted site down in the description. File 2 Lee from Three Spires Paranormal in the UK decided to investigate a building quite close to his own home. And while the investigation itself didn't really reveal very much at the time, once Lee had uploaded it to their YouTube channel for Three Spires Paranormal, one eagle-eyed viewer spotted something truly strange. Have a look. It's me on my own tonight. I've decided to come along to a place which is right next to my house. Uh, so, never been here before to have a look around. So, we're just gonna have a little chat, a little walk around. Uh, this section that I'm actually just having a walk around tonight. 
was uh, then turned into, it was a hospital, and then it was turned into a uh, children's home. And then this particular bit, up until about, probably about 10 years ago, was actually a nursery, um, a children's nursery. But what is weird, now I will say this, I don't know if there's been any reported deaths here or anything, but, but what I did notice was only the past week, this rose has been left right by the door of, uh, I mean you can tell it's been here a while, it's obviously decayed over the uh, over time. So I thought I'd just have a little mosey around. As Lee continues to explore, he moves on to one of the outer buildings surrounding the main building. As he passes one of the windows, these windows need to have to... Did you see it? Let's rewind to take a closer look. As Lee's light pans past the window, is that someone there? Or something? So what has Lee captured on camera? Is it paranormal? Is there something actually haunting the building? Or is there someone very strange living in there who leans out the top corner of a window in the middle of the night? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You can also find a link there to Three Spies Paranormal's YouTube page to check out all the investigations, including the full version of this particular one. File 3 Urbex and Chills are American urban explorers who decided to investigate a large abandoned house that looks as if the owners had simply walked away. The house is filled with all sorts of items belonging to the previous occupants who simply have just left them behind. Which all itself seems pretty strange. The guys even find that the power is still running when they turn on the TV. But the strangest feature of the house is to be found upstairs. There appears to be something strange in the room. The writing on the cross appears to be in Latin, though it's hard to determine exactly what it says. Then one of the guys pushes back the carpet and discovers... Note too the red candle wax on the floor beside where they're standing. The classic upside down pentagram and cross. But what else is there on the floor? The book the buyers pick up is actually called The Devil by Philip C. Hammond. The book itself is more of a history text than anything else. Certainly not the sort of spooky, dark, satanic spell book of magic that you might expect to find there. He flicks through the book and turns to the page that appears to have part removed. In fact, the image that is unstuck to the front cover of the book is, has been cut out from this page. Also, we catch a glimpse of the symbol on the altar cloth. can't really see it. We don't really get a good look at the symbol on the cloth and can't really tell what it is. Not in this video at least. However, Urbex and Chills are not the only people to visit the house, so perhaps we can get a better idea of what's going on. What's up guys, Explorer Danny here. Danny on the Loose is another urban explorer who visits various locations around the states. It's just so he and a group of friends decide to explore the same abandoned house, have 
having been told about it apparently by a local resident. Hey Matt, so can you tell us a little bit about the house? So I'm local to the area and um, I drive around a lot looking for uh, local bandos and uh, we came across this one in the woods and we thought we'd check it out. So we came up here and it's the freakiest <laughs> ever. Oh, I'm not allowed to say <laughs> You can't. No, you're probably with me. It's the freakiest house I've <laughs> ever seen. There's some weird <laughs> shit to you see. It would appear that very little has actually changed in the house, even though it's now six months since Urbex and Chill's visit. Indeed, that same TV still seems to be working when the crew turn the TV on and they're hit with a static. I don't know about you guys, but that freaked me the hell out. Yeah, this is just a start apparently. There's gonna be a lot more things in here. Are we gonna act like that light didn't turn on by itself? That light turned on and that There also appears to be problems with the lighting as if something is actually affecting the electrics. I'm freaked out right now. But of course, how is that room looking? The team continue to explore before they finally find the satanic room. Yeah, so we're going up those stairs. Do some going first. This is creepy as hell. Notice the cross has moved, as has the chair. However, with the chair gone, we can now better see the sigil that's painted on the cloth. So what is the sigil? Well, it's not really from a book of black magic or devil worship. It's actually from a death metal band called Morbid Angel. It's their logo. But nevertheless, the crew seem very much spooked by the discovery and talking about how dark and sinister the place feels, but is it just because it's what they expect to feel? So I'm not really sure how serious we can take this supposed satanic altar. But you decide. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Is it someone just having a bit of a game with these guys, or is it something genuine and serious? Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can view both Urbex and Chills and Daniel the Loose's complete videos by visiting the links in the descriptions below. Have a look and see what you make of it all. If you've made it this far and liked what you've seen, please click like and subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon because for some strange reason if you don't hit that, you don't get the videos, even if you're subscribed. That's a strange one. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.